602 former members of terrorist groups are facing a judicial panel set up by the federal government to review their cases. Now, this is after undergoing several months of deradicalization and rehabilitation under a multi-agency program tagged Operation Safe Corridor. Our correspondent, Larry Adeyemi, witnessed the sitting of the panel and reports. Nine months ago, these men arrived Gombe to begin the journey of deradicalization and rehabilitation. They are former members of terrorist organizations that voluntarily surrendered to the Nigerian military. Each person would stand before the quasi judicial panel to declare his allegiance to the Nigerian state. We are affirming that yes, they are loyal to the state and they bear allegiance to the country Nigeria. This is a critical legal requirement before the process of reintegration can commence. The coordinator of Operation Safe Corridor warns that any breach of the oath would attract stiff consequences. After this moment, when you leave this camp, you will be good citizens and that uh, you will not commit any offense and where you do you stand to forfeit all privileges civil society organizations and representative of Bronu state government are confident about the successful reintegration of these men they see the life skills that these men have acquired as proof that they can be self-reliant. Operation Safe Corridor has indeed brought relief, hope, and provided a platform for the greater future of the ex-insurgents. If you look at the people that have been integrated back to their communities and how well they are doing, this is a success story. So if you are in a camp and you're tired and you want to come out of the bush, it means that you need to see what is happening to others. And they become practical experiences that you need to follow through. So this is very practical and it's very helpful for them to also begin to step out of the bush. Between 2016 and 2019, 280 former members of terrorist groups have been deradicalized and successfully reintegrated back into society without any case of violence or crime. Operation Safe Corridor is positioned to become an important tool of the Nigerian government to depopulate terrorist organizations and speed up their defeat. Landry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe.